Oh gosh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for the things to come. Hello. Okay. Just gonna wait for the views to start coming. Hi, Trinity. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait for the views to actually start coming in. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I haven't been live in like a really long time, so I'm still just sort of like figuring it out. <laughs> okay. Gonna wait for it to come in. <laughs> Come on, nope. I did that wrong. I'm messing this up. <laughs> did I do it right? I think I did. <laughs> I hope I did it right. Hey, what's oh, up? Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, is that Ronan? Ronan's barking over there in the corner. He's so naughty. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, how have you been? It's been a while. Good, how about you? I, I've been good, I've been good. I've been quarantined. I know. So, yeah, Thanks. same situation. Yeah. Hi, Ronan. Hi, Ronan. He's a sweetie. So adorable. Oh, my gosh. My dog's sleeping, so. <laughs> really? Oh, tired. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. I'm just going to say hi to some people in the car. Okay. No, wait for us. <laughs> Oh, they're so pretty. That's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Ronan already left me. Oh. Right <laughs> oh, well. I'm so glad to be here. Oh, I'm so happy to have you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just waiting a couple minutes. <laughs> All right, so what have you been doing? Like, any quarantine activities? No, just singing. <laughs> Walking yeah. around the house. I know, I'm so bored. I want to go outside. I'm just, uh, I'm not loving quarantine. I'm not. My family's in like a smaller neighborhood where it's not like around like a whole yeah, city area. That's... We get to walk around and go for walks. Yeah. But that's it. No, no outside, no events. Mm -hmm. no I don't like it. any outside friends unless they're living with me. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, no, it's I just, I not people who are. <laughs> me it's been good i mean it's been chaotic honestly yeah i don't know what I hope they find a cure though like i'm just like every single day i hear them finding like new things and i'm just like find a cure already yeah like, i know they're working on a vaccine <laughs> which is really cool. i know pretty fast with like what they're finding like really quickly so yeah exactly exactly Oof. yeah so i think we're good to get started yeah okay so Starting off, can you just introduce yourself to the new fans and viewers that would like to know you and follow you? <laughs> so, hi, I'm Trinity Rose. Um, I am a singer-songwriter, and um, this is my... <laughs> I play guitar, I sing, I play ukulele sometimes, um, and I, I write my own stuff. So, I have a few things released right now if you want to hear <laughs> I have this song, um, Confident Flowers, that was my single from last year, if you want to check that out. Um, yeah, I've got a few things that you guys can listen to, if you haven't listened to it already. <laughs> have a couple of things going on there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of chaos. <laughs> so overall, what inspired you to become a singer and songwriter? Um, well, I mean, I grew up in music my entire life. I had my family who would always play the classic um, rock songs to me, and we'd all get together in the neighborhood and sing them. And I would used to write for uh, my parents. Uh, they they would have house parties, and I would like write songs, and perform them. So I guess it kind of originated from wanting attention. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically that's really interesting. <laughs> yeah. I know. So, what is the process for you, like when writing a song, and like what inspires you? Um, my process is always different when writing a song. Um, it's, 
basically it can start with a melody, it can start with lyrics, it can start with a guitar part. It usually starts with a guitar part because that's what I figure out first. Sometimes I hear the guitar in my head and then mm -hmm. I try to put it out onto my guitar, which usually works, which is good, but it's yeah. like really late at night. So mm -hmm. um, it's always me being sleep deprived. I can only write yeah. this, like later. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Unless it's with co-writers, then um, yeah. I can normal hours. <laughs> um, and also, back in 2017, you were the youngest contestant to ever be on NBC's The Voice. What was the experience like, and what was it like being the youngest on the show? <laughs> um, I mean, I was the youngest female. I have my friend Quiz, who was actually the youngest. He was amazing. We would hang out all the time. It was actually really, really fun. I met a lot of people that I stayed uh, lifetime friends with, and... I still see yeah. everyone all the time, whenever <laughs> I can. And yeah, we support each other. I think it's just a very supportive community of people that you meet there. So that was my experience. And it was just a good time. It was definitely a weird thing to happen when you were 13. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> that's great. Um, and also, one of your recent songs that's on your EP called Coughing Up Flowers has a very impacting and emotional message behind it. Can you explain what the message is and how you came up with that idea? Oh, okay. So, um, Coughing the Flowers is based off of Hanahaki disease, which is basically a fictional disease that has, like, Japanese origin, where um, when you have unrequited love, your lungs fill up with flowers, and you cough them up. So, that's basically where I got the name from. And, um, yeah, um, it's basically, it's exactly that. It's more just, like, falling in love with someone, like, and it's, like, being unrequited, essentially. It's a very complicated song. Like, in the yeah. music video, it ended up just me being, just pining after my friend Bryce Xavier, mm -hmm. and we, we made that music video together, and we, yeah. it doesn't, it has more than one meaning. You can interpret how you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I, it can be I mean, the Melody and everything behind it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so if any fans have any questions, if they want to ask them right now. Oh, hi, Rosie. Hello. <laughs> hi, Rani. Hello, thank you for coming. You do have questions. <laughs> Who to ask? Ask any questions. Okay. <laughs> or any comments. A, or... <laughs> I'll let it, usually it's a little, it takes a little to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Kenzie Oakley, hello. Hi. What's going on? Um. Lisa. I think that's how you say your name. <laughs> hello, Maria. Hello. What is it? What are y'all doing to not be bored? Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's, I, I'm, I've been playing, um, when I finish my work for school, which is a lot of online classes, I usually play Minecraft, which is so embarrassing, but it's very <laughs> fun. So that's what I've been doing to, um, past the time essentially also i've been watching movies with my family we just finished the first harry potter movie last night which is really <laughs> time i forgot like how magical that movie was it's such <laughs> i actually really like that movie all right what's your favorite color um my favorite color is like lilac lavenderish in that range um What's your favorite song? Ugh, I don't have a favorite song. <laughs> That's such a hard question. Um, do you have a favorite song? Oh. I, like, it's so, like, since American Idol's on right now, I'm loving a lot of the songs that they're singing right now, so I'm just, like, learning new songs right now. Yeah. But it's all over the place. I mean, it's hard to pin down one. Um, yeah. It's basically, I, it's basically um, my favorite songs are on the album I currently listen to. Like, I always, like, listen to albums once a time. Yeah. It's hard. Um, <laughs> there's some good songs that I've been listening to, but I can't choose one. Um, <laughs> what artists are your inspiration? Um, I mean, oh, Jade Bird is one of them. I love Jade Bird, and she's just so down to earth and just so talented. <laughs> I'd have to say she's one of them. Yeah, I love her. She's got an amazing album out. All the music is amazing. Um, I know that's not a question, but I love you, Trinity, so much. Oh, I love you too, Rosie. Oh. Uh, what's your favorite Netflix movie? Um, I like the Black Mirror movie, the internet <laughs> one. That infuriated me last year. Oh, my gosh. 
I, I'd have to say that one because it was so fun and you could really interact with it because it would be in Netflix. So that's mm. cool. Um, a place you want to visit. Ooh, that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed to go anywhere. Um, <laughs> I would love to visit basically anywhere. I would love to visit Europe. I would also love to go to Mexico because a lot of you guys live there and I would love to visit you guys and play for you. And um, basically, I would love to go to Asia as well. Basically, I want to go everywhere. <laughs> the world is my oyster and I just want to go. <laughs> Yeah, favorite place in the world. Same thing. Um, I I like Canada because I go there a lot. Because a lot of my family. Also, oh, I really want to go to India because my family's there as well, and I haven't been yet. <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> favorite animal. Um, ferret. I love ferrets because Charlotte loves ferrets, and she's been imprinting ferrets on me. What are you? You've been imprinting ferrets on <laughs> ferret brain. TikToks. Ferret TikToks, basically. <laughs> Yes, favorite TikToks have gotten me, even though I don't have a TikTok. <laughs> yes, um, have you seen Stranger Things? Yes, I love that show. Celebrity crush. I do not have one. <laughs> I will lie to you. Um, uh, would you like to visit, visit Brazil? Yes, I would. That would be amazing. Yeah, that would be awesome. Would you like to visit Argentina? Yes, South America sounds beautiful, and it sounds amazing. And very sexy. What? I'm sorry. So my sister's telling me to calm down. <laughs> I'll fight you. Yes, my sister loves making comments off screen. <laughs> yes, that's why she's here. You're stuck at home. That's why. Yeah. Honestly. Oh God. I think I'm going insane. Oh, whatever. <laughs> We've got the internet at least. <laughs> Oh god, Charlotte's making faces. No. Hi, Nolia. Is that how you say it? I don't know how to say it. Oh dear. Alright. I think that's all the questions we have so far. Think so? Okay, I'll continue. Um, okay, so okay. you have people that you collaborated with, Netflix Umbrella star Aiden Gallagher called Miss You that reached 100k plus streams on Spotify in the first week. As an unsigned artist, what's that like? I mean, it was an insane amount of recognition that song got, which is just so sweet. It's mainly due to Aiden's fans and my own just coming together and just streaming the heck out of it. It was just, it was insane. It was insane to see, and it was, um, honestly, I, I never imagine that that would be able to happen to me so it's awesome it was an awesome thing and it was just um i'm glad that so many people liked listening to that song and wanted to support um, me and him so that's it was crazy i don't know how else how, how else to describe <laughs> that's it. amazing yeah yeah as an unsigned art accomplishment <laughs> yeah, i know i mean it's it's i i think that um people have begun to not rely on um getting signed anymore which is cool yeah. and it's it's nice that we don't have to rely on scary contracts anymore so yeah and you could do it all yourself yeah <laughs> you can do what i did yeah <laughs> um and also for upcoming artists wanting to achieve the goal of 100 plus streams on spotify again which is a huge milestone um what advice and strategies can you offer them um i mean just connections man just meet people go out in the world um be an extrovert if you can uh, but also mm -hmm. be completely yourself be honest people don't like other fake people and yeah. it's, like, it's just be yourself honestly that's the most annoying advice i can give you but <laughs> you have to be honest with the people you mm -hmm. meet so that's the best thing i can give that that's really good advice because yeah. <laughs> i think so many people got get like caught up and it's just they lose themselves? Exactly. I've had so many people like that. You can't <laughs> lose yourself. It's um, it's a scary business if you don't know what you're doing, honestly. <laughs> um, and also, you recorded another single that had 45 of your friends in Hollywood called Love is the Only River. What was it like having 45 teens in a recording studio, and what was the message behind it? Oh, um, that was an insane day, um, but it was with a lot of people. I was friends with, so 
they were all very respectful and not too chaotic, and they 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 were so easy to work with that it was barely it wasn't even an issue. Yeah. And um, I think writing for that kind of song as well was complicated because getting the bunch of little guy and girl parts yeah. and different ranges. It's crazy. We had to change stuff, but it was completely worth it in the end. Sorry, if it's so loud. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. um, so I mean, it was rewarding, but also very a very new experience that I had to yeah. get used to. Yeah. Because like forty five people, like that could be like a whole Broadway musical, you know? Yeah. With like song pieces exactly. and everything. Yeah. Just organize <laughs> that. Maybe not to the extent of a Broadway musical, but. <laughs> Got to a certain point. Where it's like, oh my um, God, so loud. <laughs> Sounds like a long outside. Yeah, there's like two, like, I don't know how it's making this much noise. I don't know. All right. Sorry about this. All right. Um, what are some goals? Like, I know this year is pretty much on a hold right now, but what are some goals you want to accomplish by the end of this year? Um, I want to establish myself and write a lot of songs <laughs> and see what I can do creatively that's different from my other years. Um, mm -hmm. I think I need to really focus on what I want to do and like get into college and see yeah. what I can do from there. So I'm very mm -hmm. interested in music business and yeah. on that side because I know I want to be in music. Um, so we'll see. Um, I gotta focus on the college yeah. next semester. So Ah, that's fun. Where yeah, do you plan? <laughs> um, I'm I'm looking at a lot of stuff. Um, USC um is very expensive, so I don't think I'll be going to that. But yeah. A lot of places in like uh Philadelphia and mm. um New York that are just amazing and it's <laughs> cool to check it all out. So yeah. Do you continue music or do you want like performing arts or do you look for business or something else? Um, I, I look more for business. Performing arts, I've done that all my life, so I don't think mm -hmm. I really need to do that, yeah. honestly, because, um, I've gotten experience in the field for a while, <laughs> and I found myself not really enjoying it in, um, mm -hmm. Berkeley when I went there during the summer, but I met, I had a really good time there, but it wasn't for the performance aspect. Yeah. Yeah, because I felt like I already had done that before, but... Yeah. I think I can learn a lot more in business. So I would like to. Mm. Do you like, you said you wanted to go into business. What do you want to like do in business? Do you hope to open your own business or like? Um, it's more like what I can do in the music business. Um, um, I guess what I can, I can work with um, more. I don't know if I'd work with labels. That's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. Um, yeah. It's, there's a lot going on in there. I would love to do like, live event uh, production that would be a dream Ooh, that's interesting <laughs> other work with other artists that would be yeah. amazing because i found myself um very good at working with other, other artists because yeah. love is the only river so i mean it was mm. really fun for me Ooh, interesting <laughs> and also for bands and viewers that would like to become a musician or trying to write their own song what advice can you give them um, I would start small and just, um, try to build yourself up, learn an instrument, um, see if you can just jot down some lyrics every now and then, yeah, inspiration strikes. Don't get too upset at yourself if you can't finish stuff, because it happens, if we all go through that, try to get through it, but if you can't, it's fine. Um, yeah. just build yourself up, essentially. Okay, um, so... I guess we could have more fans maybe comment if, if they have any more comments. Oh, yeah. yeah let's see it. <laughs> if they have any more. Comment away. Oh, you look, you girls look beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. That's oh, so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm in my house, but. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm in my house as well, but it's so loud. <laughs> it's so loud. Oh, my God. It never quiets down in here. Because of you, Charlotte. <laughs> it's not picking that well. Um, do you know um, the Musica uh, by Soda Stereo? Um, I do not. I do not know that, but I can listen to it. Sounds cool. Quarantine check. Oh my god. <laughs> We're here. 
<laughs> we're locked in. Yeah, it's fun. We're gonna escalate. Uh, woo! I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I love your hair, Candy. Thank you. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Did you go from India? Oh, nice. Um, yes, I do know Calpurnia. Yes. Um, how are you today? I'm good. I'm here. I'm having a good time. Um, hey Trinity. Oh, hi Warrior Radio. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? They're an amazing radio station that plays all my music and they're amazing <laughs> and I love doing interviews with them. They're my favorites. <laughs> you know how to play the violin or the cello. I can actually play a little bit of viola. I can Ooh. kind of. <laughs> not well at all, but I can play a little bit. Because I was practicing with my friend once. I'm not good, but I can play it, sort of. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, I can't do chords or anything, but I can try. <laughs> you say hi. Hi, Ashley. Hello. I love you, too. Hi Trinity, hello. Do I speak Spanish? I do not, unfortunately. I would like to learn. What are your favorite scales on the guitar? I actually don't do scales a lot. I find myself not to like it very much. Um, I like playing chords way, way more because I can play a lot more songs with that. I'm not really classical guitar. Maybe I should be, but never got into it. I love you. I love you too. I can't sing Miss You right now. I'm only one person. And I don't have to turn on me right now, so. I would. I would. Montana, what is your favorite color? Oh, pink. Of course, pink. Pink is a beautiful color. And Tricky's hair, pink. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit faded, but it's here. <laughs> I've been using this Hello. amazing thing that like, keeps it alive. I love you, Trinity. I love you too. Um, what are my favorite chords? Oh, whoa. Um, I, I love, like, sus chords and, like, seven chords. That, like, it really changes it up. Like, jazz chords are just so, so fun to use in songs. So, I'd have to say those kinds. Oh, I am 18 years old. So just turned 18. I know I look 13 probably, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm seven. <laughs> Like we're both up there. Elder. Yeah, oldie getting old. Coronavirus <laughs> gonna get us. <laughs> oh, terrible joke. Um, who is your inspiration? Um, who is my inspiration? Uh, I have a lot of inspirations. Basically, every musician I meet. <laughs> What's my favorite of Aiden's songs? Um, I like the acoustic version of uh, Blue Neon. Hmm. I'm turning 14 tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. I, people care. I'm sure a lot of people care. What's my favorite series? Mm, I used to really love Black Mirror, but I didn't like the last season. With last season, excluded Black Mirror. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Um, what's my? Who is my favorite artist? Mm, I don't know. I really like Eva Doobie right now. She's great. Favorite movies? Um, I love Star Wars. If that's if it's movies plural, yeah. <laughs> um, what is my favorite food? Indian food. Um, basically everything there: non bread, butter chicken, all the good stuff. We just had that recently. It was so good. Yeah. What is your favorite animal for both of us? Um. Mm, I mean, I said ferret. Um, I really like dolphins. I love dolphins. Dolphins, dolphins are iconic. You know. <laughs> Montana, do you like Stranger Things? Oh, yes. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. 
No, the funniest thing was like the light flickering scene in the film. I was legit sitting down one time and there was a lamp right next to me. It went flickering off and on. <laughs> no, that is terrifying. Oh God. <laughs> so. <laughs> Living in the walls. Oh no. That's terrifying. That must've been traumatizing. Yeah, it was a bit awkward. <laughs> Right least, there. Ocean. <laughs> yes, we have a nice ocean. We have a good view, at least. To have that, yeah. <laughs> you listen to Ariana Grande. You like her? Um, I sometimes listen to Ariana Grande, but it's usually on the radio. She's very talented. <laughs> I do like her. Do you like pandas? Yes, they're so cute. Aww, they're adorable. Evelyn, why are y'all so cute? Why are you so cute? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you. <laughs> Don't beat me up, please, please. I'm innocent. <laughs> Sorry, my friends are at my house. So. Um, with who would you do a song? If I could like write a song with anyone or do a song with anyone. Um, ooh. Um, I would probably have it be a male artist because we'd have we'd have to have different voice voices. Um, um, I would have loved to do a song with Kurt Cobain if he was alive. Ooh! But, yeah, no, that's a rough one, but yeah. No, the of... part is, is that most of some of, like, the good artists, like, passed away, Absolutely. and they're, like, so good, and you're like, I wanted to meet like them. John Lennon, man. Where <laughs> are you? I want to do a song with you. Maybe Paul McCartney, because he's still alive. Let's Ooh. take it, Paul. <laughs> Hit me up. After <laughs> dogs, I love both, but I have my dog over there. He's a good boy. Uh, who is your favorite Stranger Things actor or actress? Um, I think the guy who played Noah Schnapp. I think he's a great actor. Ooh yeah, mm -hmm. I think he's fantastic. Where's Ronan? He's over there. He doesn't <laughs> love me. Um. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Absolutely. It does. <laughs> no argument there. Do uh, you girls like it? The movie. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I watched it. the first one. I haven't seen the second one, unfortunately. I haven't either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love all of those. Um, yeah. Actors as well. Four scary movies. Love them. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? Yes. Um, do you like uh, the mate? It is a drink from Argentina. I've never had it. I should have. That sounds good. Sounds <laughs> delicious. I had scream tunes. There is a <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> nice. What do you think about Finn Wolfhard? He's great. He's a he's a good guy. He seems awesome. <laughs> what? What? Are you just gesturing at my dog? Can no, you bring just... him over here? Oh, <laughs> Ronan! Come here! Come here, oh. my friend! Oh. oh, let me see him. I want to see my little boy. Here we come. I want to see Ronan. Oh. He hates me. Oh. He's a good boy. No, he doesn't like that. Oh. Apparently. Um, oh. Hello. Who doesn't know? Oh, he's so 
He's so talented. Uh, what do you think of coronavirus? It's a weird time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want it to exist anymore. I want it to leave. Fly away. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Jalen. What's going on? Oh, my God. I miss you. How have you been? Live. What's going on? This is all we can do when we are quarantined. Um, since when did you start singing and playing the guitar? Um, I started playing the guitar when I was, like, I don't know, 12, 13? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, a while <laughs> it's, it's been a bit yeah um i started singing when i was forever ago but really singing when it was seven. <laughs> oh, long time <laughs> it's been a while yeah. uh ukulele or guitar um i gotta say ukulele um, <laughs> just for the fun easy part of it um i think it's just so carefree but i do love guitar because it does more. I think there's perks to either of them, but I think if you want to learn an instrument, you should learn ukulele because it's quite easy, <laughs> and you can have a good time with it, and you can learn a ton of songs. <laughs> it's easier. It. It's easier than guitar, I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Alan Walker? Do you know who Alan Walker is? Alan Walker. Uh, what was it? Uh, I I can't remember the song. It was like. Oh my gosh, it's- Evelyn recognizes his name. You probably have I heard don't... him. Like, I can't remember oh the song that he did. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. Oh no, he has a song, apparently. <laughs> One song. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite sport? Hockey, because it's so chaotic, and I saw hockey <laughs> a month ago, and it was the most chaotic, amazing time I've ever had watching it. <laughs> Because that is an insane sport, and I love it. It is so terrifying. <laughs> and they, there are no rules. You are allowed to beat up another player. <laughs> you are literally allowed to take the time out no. of the game to beat someone. <laughs> it's crazy. How is that allowed? It's not. It is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, so that's, that's it. You listen to Justin Bieber. Um, I do not. Ooh. <laughs> I don't really like his music that much. <laughs> I respect the songwriters that write for him. I think oh. that's talented. Ooh. Um, Trinity is live. What an ex unexpected surprise. I know. <laughs> Look at that. I'm supposed to be live right now. What's going on? <laughs> yes. Girls and Mamma Day. I'm so glad. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Roman, why don't you love me? Oh, foot over there. I think Another. there's actually like the question thing at the bottom. I don't know what this does. Oh, are, oh, there, are there questions? There's questions. Oh, I just realized how to figure that out. <laughs> oh no. Do you see it? Uh, no, I don't. No. Mm -mm. Maybe I just see it. But someone asked, "What inspired you to write coughing of flowers?" Anyway, you said that. Didn't you? <laughs> I didn't say. <laughs> I mean, I don't, there was no particular event in my life that inspired it. It was just more the concept that I really liked. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Um, did you ever hear about Trinity Montana? They are the most beautiful girls in the world. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's very sweet. Oh. Just don't refer to me as Hannah Montana. I do not like it. <laughs> is, that a, is that a common thing you're called? No, everyone always says that oh. I do not like it. I mean, I, every time I talk about my friend Taylor, someone goes, Swift? And it's oh. the most annoying thing on the planet, and I feel bad for her on her behalf. <laughs> Poor Taylor, having to deal with that. <laughs> Who was your favorite singer? I can't choose that. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of good singers. I can't choose just one. <laughs> Where are you both from? I was born in Beverly, Massachusetts. Oh, very actually, close to Boston. I live in Rhode Island. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> at one point, we were close. Yes. Damn. <laughs> 
Yay! And I went to the other side of the country. <laughs> I moved back to the East Coast, and then I went all the way back to the East uh, Moved away. Unfortunately. <laughs> sad. Very sad. <laughs> how do you spell Diana in English? That's how you spell it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You got it. <laughs> Roman! Why is he hanging out with my friends and not me? <laughs> He's selfish. Oh. <laughs> um, are there any other questions in the little question box, or is it just that one? Oh, no, I, I think that's it. Wait. What's your favorite... Someone asked, what's your favorite song, ATM? At the moment. Oh, at the moment. <laughs> favorite song at the moment. Ooh. Oh, my God. Um, I don't, let me think. I've been listening to a lot. Um, uh, I gotta say, uh, Holly by Nirvana, because I've been listening to a lot of Nirvana, mm -hmm. and that's what I've had my mind. <laughs> so, yeah, that would be my choice. Uh, favorite song by Weezer. I don't listen to Weezer. <laughs> I know you think it's saying it. So. That's know. the only one I know. Not, <laughs> not that song. Say it ain't so. <laughs> there you go. Ah, ah. Buddy Holly, Island in the Sun. The I, sweater song. I know the sweater, the sweater song. song. Where's yeah. my Where sweater? <laughs> that's all I. That's all I got. Favorite song of rock. That's a huge thing that I can't answer. I love rock, but I have no idea. I can't choose one thing. Favorite band? Um, I can't choose a favorite band. These are hard questions, because I listen to too much music, and they're all so different, so I can't choose one of them. Rock indie. Rock indie. I don't listen to rock indie. <laughs> indie rock. Um, so Asked another question. How did you meet each other? <laughs> um, ooh, um, we met each other. Didn't we meet each other at Rosie G? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> at her pop up. Oh, that was so yeah. fun. I I actually had a really good time that day. It was chaotic because <laughs> I had to work first. Sadly, and then by the time I came back, I had to leave again because I had like two events or three events the same day. So it was like a go leave, go leave Aww. type thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, was, I'm glad that I caught you, so. I know, in the time. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Um, when do you start to make up? Do you mean, like, makeup? Like, my makeup? When did I start doing makeup? I don't know. <laughs> Sometime. In 15, maybe? I used to put, like, concealer under my eyes and mascara, and that was the whole look. It looked terrifying. <laughs> it looked wrong. <laughs> but I did it. That was all. Favorite color, lilac. Yes, I said this a little bit earlier, but I don't think you were here. Mm -hmm. um, do you have hobbies? Um, yeah. Um, what are my hobbies? I mean, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I mean, hobbies is a weird word. I don't know. Something. I do things. <laughs> I do other things sometimes. <laughs> It yeah. sounds sporty, so, like, every time you think of the word, you're, like, oh, like, an actual, like, baseball, football, you think oh, of, you don't, yeah. like, don't playing do. something, like, it's... My hobby is hanging out with Ronan! He doesn't want to hang out with me, <laughs> very personally. Um, <laughs> favorite movies of horror? Um, I really, I think, mmm, mmm, horror movies. I liked The Babadook a lot, and I still like The Babadook. I've watched that movie a lot, so I think I'd have to say that one. Even Skate Girl? I'll fight you. I'll fight you, Evelyn. <laughs> Sorry, she's in my house. I'm looking at her right now. Oh my gosh, it is so loud. <laughs> um, pretty, uh, pretty braids. Thank you. Evelyn actually did that. <laughs> Look at the little crown. Look at how talented she is. Look at the talent. Look at the talent. Woo! love her. Trinity, there's actually one thing I want you to do that I saw a video of you doing. You speak French. I do. And I saw your video of you rapping. Oh, no! 
Yes. Do I you want to rap French? French? <laughs> you know the, the French project that we did where we had to rap? Yeah. I, I, I love still this. know the French rap. <laughs> Would you like me to say the French rap, Lena? The one you wrote? Say it. She says no. Je suis une petite gaspe pour mes nourritures et mes végétaux que tu es stupide. Fais attention quand tu es dans la cuisine et tu m'as donné la nourriture de France ou de la So. I love that rap. It's, uh, I still. I had to memorize that, so I kept singing it to myself. So now I still know it, even after <laughs> so long after. <laughs> after so long after, that's not a phrase. Recommend me a series on Netflix. Um, watch Black Mirror if you haven't. Then don't watch the last. The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt is from Evelyn over there. Watch anything. Watch. Just like do a roulette thing and just pick anything, and then you will be certainly disappointed. But just if you want to do that, we have all the time in the world. <laughs> Someone asked, "Who's your favorite Umbrella Academy actor or actress?" Ooh, um, I really love. Oh my gosh, what's his name? Robert Sheehan. Yes, he's awesome. <laughs> he's so nice. I love him. He's awesome. I love him. Yeah, no, he's the best. He's awesome. Hey, Anna. Hey, Hello. What a queen. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's getting even louder. Get ready. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> it sounds like it's raining over there. Yeah? No, it's a vacuum. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It is so bad. It's all right. Favorite Disney movie? Mm -hmm. Um, what is my favorite Disney movie? I love Princess and the Frog. Princess and the Frog. Ooh, that's a pretty one. I loved that oh, one. Yes, the best. <laughs> Rowan and no attack in the vacuum. <laughs> he loves doing that. Someone asked, "When were you both born?" When were you <laughs> born? <I> <laughs> My birthday's online, but it, I was born December 27th, 2002. I was born, I think, on Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving? <laughs> no, 26th. Nice. Yeah, the day of the turkey. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pamela. Yeah. Hello. Sorry, the vacuum's right next to me, so it's <laughs> getting louder. Oh, what's my favorite song at the moment? Um, I think I said that. Yeah. Polly, my Nirvana. You know what a cream cost is? Ron, not yours! <laughs> Fighting the vacuum. No! 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 <laughs> I've never heard of that. What? <laughs> Pasta Slender Man, the ring? Come on. I've never heard of that. Oh, you missed <laughs> out. <laughs> for edgy kids like me. I loved reading things that made them terrified. Favorite TV show right now? Mm, I don't watch a lot of TV. <laughs> my house to eat tacos. <laughs> would be amazing. Sure oh, yay. <laughs> uh, what do you like to study? Um, Nothing. I'm on break. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really like to study. <laughs> so, what is my Hogwarts house? What is your Hogwarts house? <laughs> okay. uh, my Hogwarts house, oh my god, I'm so lucky. I... I identify spiritually with Ravenclaw, but I don't think I'm actually that smart, so I don't know. Ooh. I like their vibes. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, it's like you're really soft a little oh, bit. Sorry. It's alright. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's rough over here. I'll be like, 
I love Katy Perry. I've seen her, I've seen her in concert before. <laughs> she's pregnant. She's got a baby. We love that. <laughs> Look at all these healthy pups that are raving for that. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You wanna move in the back room? Huh? No, we'll be done soon. Mm -hmm. No, why do I keep doing this? this? I don't know. Oh dear. Oh dear. I went to Kitty Fairy's concert last summer. It's very cool. I think I went like two or three summers ago. Let me see. Do you like this? Do I listen to Spanish music? I usually don't, but. <laughs> Sorry, it's so loud. It's alright. <laughs> oh, uh, um, I might have to go soon because of this. Okay, that's alright. Yeah. Do you want to end with a performance? Huh? Do you want to end with a mini performance? I don't know how much of the vacuum. Oh, yeah. I mean, if the vacuum makes sense. Oh, my guitar's in my room. Okay. <laughs> you can try and hear it over the vacuum. You can do it. And this is yell. Okay. Eat it on eggs? I don't like eggs. <laughs> I don't like eggs. It would beat up an egg. <laughs> Just because of you. What <laughs> I'm sorry. 
mixed feelings going on over there. All right. All right. Yeah, so thank you for having me. You're very welcome, and thank you so much for coming on. Well, of course, this was super fun. Yeah. And thank you so again. much to the people that came on as well. Yes, thank you all for coming. Yay! Yay! Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yes! All right, yes. So um, I hope you stay safe and have an amazing rest of the day inside. Healthy. <laughs> so dying. joining us um and i hope you all join me again for thursday this thursday at 12 p.m in pacific time and eastern standard time 3 p.m <laughs> um and it's going to be with tiktoker anthony perlongo so if you're on tiktok and you want to know some tips on how to get on the for you, bleh, for you page how to trend or anything um definitely check him out and i will be interviewing him on thursday so i hope you guys can come back and tune in love you so much bye